Greetings and thank you so much for this time to come to you and spend a few moments in the Word of God and prayer. We are talking this week on strengthening our inner man. As the Apostle Paul prayed for those in Ephesians, he says he prayed for them that they would be strengthened with power in their inner man by the Holy Spirit. So we we want to explore and understand how can we be strengthened with God's power in our spirit? How do we draw power from God, strength from God in our spirit? Yesterday we mentioned about fellowshipping with God, being with God, communing with God through His Word and prayer. I want to extend that thought today by talking about the importance of quietness in the presence of God. Isaiah chapter 30 verse 15 Bible says, in quietness and confidence will be your strength. In returning and rest, you will be saved. In quietness and confidence, you will have strength. So God is actually speaking to his people. And if you read the context of Isaiah 13, you know, they're trying to do so many things. They're trying to run on their chariots and get away, do something on their own. And in the middle of all that God is saying, if you get back to me, and rest before me, you'll have your salvation. And in quietness and just confidence, putting your trust in God, you will have strength. So coming to this place of rest and quietness before God is something we must learn to do. Sometimes we want to engage in a lot of spiritual activity. There's nothing wrong in praising God. There's nothing wrong in uh, and, and, and you know, in a, in a lot of things that we will do, they, those are good things. But we must also learn to just be quiet in the presence of God. As you read His Word and as you pray, there's got to be that stillness, rest, and quietness. And God says, in that place of quietness, we will find strength. He says, when you're still, can know that he's God and so as part of our time of our engagement with God our communing with God our fellowship with God our time with God have time for quietness it's not we need to say a lot of things not that you need to be singing songs all the time just be quiet before him and let him minister to you by his spirit because in the quietness that you Bring yourself to before God. You can hear a still small voice. Your eyes can be opened to see things you haven't seen. Your ears can be opened to hear what you've never heard. Because God says, what I speak to you in the dark, what I speak to you in that moment of quietness, you can shout from the house top. Let's pray. Father, we ask that you'll help us learn to rest and be quiet before you. Because you said in in returning and rest and in quietness and confidence, we will have strength. Help us to learn to do this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.